project's uh, moving along pretty nicely. Um, I'm ready to paint the interior. Uh, I want to talk about the importance of caulking. Caulking is a handyman's best friend. Um, I'm really good at building shit, and I have a hard time getting things to um, line up perfectly, perfect seams, perfect joints. It's just very difficult, especially with wood. Wood, um, wood never comes out from the factory perfect. It has flaws. And so caulking is a handyman's best friend. Um, it really <clears throat> gives your, um, your projects a nice finishing touch. So I've caulked all the interior seams. I'm more than likely going to lay a section of carpet down on the floor of this, but if I decide just to leave it painted, um, I decide to caulk, it gives it a nice finished look. I've rounded all the edges. Uh, there are no sharp edges on the interior. The exterior is not as important. Um, just the leading and trailing edges down here where you're sliding it in and out of the camper are what's going to be important. I mean, sliding it out of the truck. Uh, I've even used... <clears throat> shit, my fucking throat. I've even used um, the excess caulking. The tube was almost empty, so I used what little I had left to fill in these little imperfections in the um, in the plywood. Um, that's kind of the crappy part about Home Depot. The prices are great, but the quality is not that good. So you can get plywood that's perfect in every way, but it's like 40 bucks to 50 bucks a sheet versus 18 to 23, 24 dollars a sheet. So I've added some gussets here. Uh, this here and here match the width of the um, camper shell. Uh, I've got to remove the board running this way underneath the camper shell to, uh, to join and I'll be able to screw it from under here and that'll really stiffen this up quite a bit when I get the top on. The existing piece in the front of the shell will land right here and I'll screw down into it. Uh, which should make it pretty strong. I may have to add some gussetry on the underside down here. I don't know yet. Um, I've got this one gusset in the front. <clears throat> Fuck. Sorry, dudes. <clears throat> I got sawdust. I've been breathing sawdust and it's got me all fucked up. Um, this really stiffened up this area out here. Um, unsupported plywood is terribly flexible. Even the thicker stuff like this three quarter. So we've got to get it on here. We've got to get it on here first. And then determine where these gussets are. And the gussets got to be clever because there's not a whole lot of space on the outside of this thing. So I've sanded it. Uh, you can save yourself quite a bit of money by buying the cheap shit and then putting a little bit more labor into it. I just went over with a 100 grit on the variable speed uh, uh, DA sander that I have, battery operated one. Uh, worked great. And again, it all comes down to just little things. Rolling an edge. Focus. Just rolling that edge so it's not sharp. Rounding these corners makes a big difference. Uh, right now it looks like it's full of holes, but when you put the paint on it, you're not going to notice it. So the next step will be uh, painting it and um, fitting fitting the, uh, the shell to this um, superstructure. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free. Don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching.